In this episode, I'm going to talk to crane operator Mike, who's been in the industry for many years and is going to be operating this enormous Terex DMAG TC2800-1. And what he's going to be doing is unloading trucks that have come in with all the components of a tower crane and he's going to place them in this yard for storage. Not only do I get the chance of watching this 600 ton rated crane work, but I'll also get an opportunity to find out a little bit more about tower cranes. So let's begin with the stabilizing mechanism of this crane. Mike, this is an enormous crane and I guess you have to balance it and you have to hold it up to stop it from falling over. And this enormous well, what would you call them? These are stabilizers. Yeah, the outriggers. Outriggers, that's them. Yeah. And so, looking at the size of the the um, you know the hydraulic lifter on the end there, that that do you call control that here somewhere? Or Pretty much, what? yep. So we've got a box somewhere. Four of these. We've got we've got the control boxes over here in the center. Yep. So um, from that spot, we can actually we um, operate these these um, the outriggers on both sides. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so once we get to a point where we're at, we're setting the crane up ready for um, for uh, after the initial setup, we'll go and set it up so everything's spot on level. Right. Cranes Absolutely. Got, yes. Cranes need to operate on a on a on a level platform, and that's, so yeah, we we level it up with the with the big hydraulic legs here. That you know, Did you have levels, or is there a computer that tells you? Yeah, no, we've got a screen in, in here oh, yeah. that tells us. Um, how level we are. We've also got one up in the cab, so um, if we... So if something's wrong, oh, hang on. Yeah, if, they, yeah. if they're reading different, then we know we've got a problem, but yeah, sure. it's pretty... Uh, and this pad, is that what you call it, a pad? Yep, yep, this is an outrigger pad. Outrigger and we, we looked at one, like, on, on the 350, the guy just shoved a round one underneath the... <laughs> but yeah. this is more than a round one. That's right, yeah, so... Basically, uh, these pads are, are designed to take whatever the maximum force that's going to be applied on, on these outriggers. Right, um, so. It's been uh, basically um, designed to, to spread the load, so we're not actually putting um, too much load on the on the ground. Oh, no. So we're actually spreading our sure. spreading our load over. So the if you did that, it'd poke a hole in the ground. It would definitely poke a hole <laughs> in the ground. Yeah. Yes. No problem at all. <laughs> so spread the weight is what what it's all about. That's yeah, right. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so, do these? How do you how do you cart these around? When you they don't fold up or anything and go with the with the uh, carrier? No, no. So these um, once once we, we we pack up these uh, this section here will slide in. Yep. And then we've got a locking pin in behind you there where we lock them in for transport. Yep. So it's in the lock position now for working, and then when we, when we pull it in, we, that, uh, we pull that pin out, suck it in. Now that actually all disconnects from the from the crane, so all the, all four legs actually come off the crane. To, uh, for transport. So is that four trucks or two trucks or? Oh, uh, we can get them on two trucks, so two legs on on, on each truck. <laughs> so looking at your cab, and you see giant cranes, and the cab can can sort of fall back. Does that do that? Yes, yeah, yes, it does. Yep, yep. Oh, okay. But I uh, I don't like to keep it sort of really fat. Sure. If you do any high rise work, um, wind turbines, then you took your cab up because it saves your neck a bit. Okay. Of, Bit of grief, so, so there's a hydraulic that does that? Yep, that's another hydraulic, hydraulic power <laughs> mechanism, so love sure. hydraulics. <laughs> Absolutely. Makes our life easy. Yeah. Um, the uh, pile of weights behind us, you probably wouldn't need that many for what you've just done. No, no, no but um, definitely not. So we've got 200 tonnes sitting up there. Um, it's just nice to have it all up and out of the way as opposed to leaving stuff on the ground, we just put it up there or something. Sure, just... so if you're lifting a six, you know, like it's a 600 tonne, mm -hmm. that's what I can lift, you'd have to have 600 tonne on the back? Uh, no, it would, actually we could do, we, we have slightly less than that. Um, we can actually have the have 200 and lift 600 tonne. Oh, okay. Um, this machine also has another attachment that hangs out the back, which would put an additional weights on if we're lifting oh, right, eh? bigger weights a bit further out. So uh, if we want to pick 600 tonne and push it out a bit further, then we have the, what's called the super lift attachment. Sure, right. So like all these big cranes, you've got an entourage of trucks that follow you around? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think um, we worked it out. We get just around about just under 40 odd loads. Good um, God, really? That's, and then we've got to have our ballast on top of that, so 
they can get up to you know, 40, 50 loads. Wow. If we, if we go to maximum configuration, so. Can we just pop around and look at the carrier? Oh. Come and have a look at the carrier, folks. Yeah. So, Mike, behind us is the, is, is the carrier, and it's got five axles there and three at the other end. <laughs> um, when you drive this along the road, I see it's a left hooker. That's right, yep. So you're on the sort of, I, I guess, to some extent, that, that's useful. Oh, I guess, yeah, it's a, a European machine, so yeah, left, left hand drive. Um, a lot of the um, bigger cranes, even the mobile cranes, are left hand drive, so right, right. Um, it's some of the, in New Zealand, so um, yeah, left hand drive cranes aren't. Um, aren't quite, unusual. Uh, aren't they? Yeah, quite. No, no. So if you're travelling along, I guess all the parked cars, you're, you can. You're not yeah. having to sort of, oh shit, how close am I? <laughs> yeah, I guess you, 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 you're monitoring that. Um, generally when we're trucking this thing around, we, we have a pilot out at the front yep. and a pilot out the back, so right. they'll keep an eye on things and keep the things clear and warning us of anything, anything coming that's going to hinder our progress. So, sure. yeah. yeah, there's always a, always an element of um, surprise, always something pops out from somewhere and you're just going to be on your, so, on your game. So tell me about the, the drive sh the drive train, the, dri the drive shafts that drive these wheels. Are they all independent or just two drive or four drive? Or? Uh, this one here we've got, uh, we have got four driving axles and the rest of them are um, trailing. just trailing axles but they are at some point they all steer. Oh, okay. So they all. So yeah. You can yeah, practically go. Pretty much, we can so. we can do a full circle within pretty tight sort of radius. <laughs> wow. Which is good for manoeuvring around Absolutely. around sides. Not so much on road where you're just travelling fairly straight lines and yeah, yeah. not so sharp yeah. corners, but manoeuvring around sites, you can actually independently steer the, the the front and the back, so you can actually be be steering over that way if you need if you need to be or, or doing circles or yeah. whatever. So it's quite so quite, quite on, nimble. And around you go. Yep. Yeah. That's right. That's amazing. Can we have a look at the cab? Yep. Mike, the, the steering station being wide over there, it looks pretty comfortable. You've got armrests and you know plenty of room to move about, I suppose. Yep, yep, now we've got uh, all the mod cons here, the armrest and the, got a, um, an air, air seat, so you get a nice little, don't get too much for a rough ride. Sure. Um, yeah. So you're a bit like a bus. I remember when I was driving buses, you sort of hung out the front and the, and the steering sort of where this is. You know, you're sort of hanging out in midair. That's right. So when you're steering, you're sort of, you know, sort of <laughs> going over the top of stuff. That <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yep, yep. Yeah. So um, the basic controls, do, yeah. do you have to connect this to the crane or is the crane independent? The, the crane is independent. Um, there is a certain wee bit of power uh, connects them both, but nothing for, uh, for for road travel or crane operation. So once we're in, in road mode, we, we've got some um, suspension settings here. We can set our ride height on, on these controls here. Yep. Uh, we push the auto button and that puts it to automatically set um, preset ride height for road travel. And if we're getting an, into a bit of rough ground, or usually on sites, we can we can set we can set them independently too, so raise ourselves higher if we need to, or, or lower, or whatever. So we've got fairly good good control of, of our suspension through that area here. We looked at the um, the, the DMAG 3500 in the last episode, folks. You might remember that, and there's an enormous boom stuck out the front. I guess because of this. Does that happen with this? No, no, that's a hydraulic crane, so this is being a lattice boom crane, that all, all that boom boom comes off and you've got a clear view in front of you. Oh, where well, you go. It must be handy. This one, that's always, <laughs> yeah. always handy. So what is actually on the back when, you, when you're travelling? Uh, so it's just the upper work, so the cab you've seen I was in there before, that stays in. And okay. um, this orange piece here, um, um, pretty much just, just the piece that, that slews. All the red stuff comes off. Yep. Um, and and the, and the counterweights all, all come off, go to and go on the uh, other trucks. trucks. But the upper works, uh, the superstructure, we call it, that stays on. Sure. So you get around the country. Where would the furthest you've been? Um, no, I mean, we're in Auckland at the moment. So. Yeah, yeah. So we get to get all around all, all around the show. Um, I think one the other week I was down on down on Bluff. <laughs> sorting a crane out down there, and um, and in Macargo, well, I thought it was a good opportunity. It was just the opening day of Bluff Oyster season, oh, okay, so I might have so. snuck down to Bluff. I got a quick dozen oysters, <laughs> and uh, and the next, and two weeks later I was up in Kaitaia. So we so. and that was 
and then, so I had to get so, up to Cape Reading. Sure, so, so you don't drive this, you know, there's a crane already there ready for you to operate? Pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, 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 um, yeah we were relocating cranes at that point, so we, we shoot down there, relocate a crane, and back up to Kai Tire and mm. up another one. And, yeah, yeah, lots of, <laughs> lots of travelling. So, so being a, a crane operator, I, I guess every day's a different day. Every day you get up out of bed and shit, out, I can drive my crane. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, like uh, the, the the taxi crane work, the, like the 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 DMAG 350 you're talking about. That's more of a mobile crane, so he could have a different job every day. Oh right. Um, right. These sort of cranes here, the bigger ones, they generally sit on a site and then. Do their job, do and, the job and, and sit there till they're required somewhere else. Pretty much, and we pack yeah, up right. and then we go somewhere else. A long, long term job, we could be you know, a year or more, depending really? on the size of the oh, job. Okay. You know. So but I see, I see this was what doing a, a, a job at the um, on the um, new northern motorway, you know, the extension motorway out a walk with there. Yes, and right. it's lifting bridge beams, I yeah, think, correct, putting them in place. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, they were um, just on 50, 50 ton those beams, and we get a, then, so we obviously need something this size to get to the centre centre span. So, that so was, you got to hold it out there. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. right. Yeah, you'll see there we had the um, the heavy lift kit on the back. We had the, the, the super lift on the back. So we had another hundred ton additional. So that was probably that and, and hang, hanging out the back here. So um, yeah, no, that was uh, we had nine beams to put in the centre and then we did the nearest span then we had another crane come and do the fast span so yeah no that was quite um it was something that i mean there's no other you needed something this size to do it sure right right i see that's been held up a little while it's supposed to be ready this year but i see it's no. not going to be ready till next year and these jobs always sort of drag on a bit <laughs> blame COVID. so the same thing they would have had to cart all this up into the you know to wherever it had to be and Correct. set it all up Yep. So when you've set it all up, somebody's done all the calculations about there's the bridge, that's how we have to put it, this is where it needs to be. Dead right. Yep, yep, that's done in collaboration so, with the... So that's not your job? Uh, partially, yeah, we, we, I get, we get involved in that. Oh, yeah. um, it's sort of mainly between the client and the, and the, and the, 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 crane, the lift planner. Yep. Um, so I do get involved in that a, a fair bit. Um, well, mainly with the, the crane owner. They, um, so does that mean you have to put a tie on and go in an office? Oh, generally not. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't own too many of those. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I think I had a suit on before, yeah, not very often anyway. No, no. Uh, no. Generally there's enough suits flying around when you're doing it. Right, right. But uh, putting that out, the, 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 because it's so weighted, when you've gone out to the full extension, nothing's nothing's doing anything it shouldn't no well, all the, if all the planning's done right it's um it's it, nothing should it all should go as per plan you know there's no yeah. um that's why we have all, lots of meetings and everyone everyone gets uh gets their work looked at by another set of eyes so we can if anything is haven't we missed something or would we picked up by well, yeah, something that's, you know that's just incredible so you know you, you the actual lift when you're lifting something that's way at the end that's right, that's, that's the end product, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, one, then of course once all the lifting's done, then you've got to, then you've got to pack it all up and, and get going again. And get so. move it away. Well, that's amazing. So tell me, would you do all this again if you had your time over? Oh, I couldn't think of too many other jobs that they were doing. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe fishing. Fishing, yeah. <laughs> I've enjoyed fishing, folks, absolutely. You know, and thoroughly enjoy what we're doing here. So, like learning new stuff. I mean, you know, I've been a truck driver. And I've done all sorts of jobs, but I never had anything to do with cranes. So, this exercise has been absolutely wonderful. Sort of, you know, learn, 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 learn. And if you learn a new thing every day, you're doing all right. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. having an adventure every day. That's well, yeah. I mean, you can you can travel the world with it in this sort of game. Right? Yeah. Personally, myself, we end up down in Antarctica doing <laughs> five weeks. So, wow. not many people get to go down there, so it's quite special. No, no it's um, absolutely. And there, yeah, around the world, picking, messing around with cranes and shifting them and getting, buying stuff and whatnot. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so you walk into work now, listen, uh, Mike, we've got a job coming up, blah, 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 we want you to do this, that, that, and you, and you think, oh, wow, well, that's, that's something to look forward to? Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. DMAG stands for Uncompromising Quality. As one of the world's leading manufacturers of high performance and reliable industrial cranes, crane components and drives, we offer our customers a comprehensive range of smart solutions for their material flow and logistic needs. 
Our name is synonymous with maximum safety, reliability and innovation. We provide our customers with smooth processes, maximum efficiency and best results. So, want to find out more? Just call All Crane on 0800 All Crane or check out their webpage www.allcrane.co.nz. Fassi, an extraordinary crane. So if you need a crane fitted to your truck, either behind the cab or on the back, then Fassi is the crane you need. Fassi can load your truck and trailer as well as unload them. A versatile crane that saves time and money. So to find out about getting your Fassi crane, just call All Crane on 0800 All Crane or check out their webpage at www.allcrane.co.nz. Mike, I'm sitting in your cabin and I've got a joystick on my left hand and two joysticks on my right hand and a whole bunch of switches and there's a computer sitting in front of me. And I can see up, I can see out, but I can't see down. <coughs> on the floor there's a uh, couple of pedals and on the outside looks like a couple of the old dip switches we used to have back in the cars. <laughs> yeah, so one of, one of those, one of those uh, switches is, uh, is a horn, so you can toot out oh, yeah. and uh, let people know if you're doing something. That's your yeah, pedal there is your foot throttle. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, that one there is a slew damper, so if we're slewing around, um, that's actually like a, sl a slewing brake. If, if needed, we can uh, have it in a, a, a free slew operation. So right. that's just a basic foot brake for that. Yep. And then the other other switch on to the, to the left there is just uh, an, an override switch for when we basically for when we're rigging the machine, and um, it's not you know, it's not normally used for when we're operating, but it's mainly right, just right. <clears throat> and so uh, looking here, I've got a left hand uh, joystick. What yep. what what happens? So le our left hand joystick is uh, if we're going um, if we want to. Turn the, the, uh, the super shut to the left, so that's a uh, left. So push away from the left. That that's a, a slew left. Yep. So that'll uh, turn around to your left, and then back, back to the right. We'll go the other way. Yep. Um, but this this model here, that we go push the lever forward, that takes oh, our oh. boom down. It uh, yeah. increases our radius, so that's our boom down function. So forward. Drops the boom. Boom down, yep. Slews the left, slews to the right. And if I pull it backwards, it lifts it back up again. Boom up again. And the right. little red button on the top is a vibrator? That's a, that's a, that's actually a speed adjustment. So oh, okay. we can actually change our speed on our screen and we just need to activate you know, whatever function we want to. And um, we just, we're going to slow the, slow the function up or, or speed up or slow it down. We do it by... Just pressing that you know, either way. Right, right. We'll go from right. zero to hundred percent. Wow. And then we come over to the left. I've got two two uh, joysticks. Oh, do they go? No, they don't go sideways. So they obviously just go backwards and forwards. Yep. So we can run two winches in this machine. Um, oh yep. The one closest to you is what we call a hoist one. Yep. So that's what we're running now. Just the one hoist. Um, if, if, so forward is down for that yep. that function. Yep. Forward down. And if you want to go up, we just pull that backwards. Yep. And if we're running a second hoist, we'd do the same with the opposite. So you just minute. push them both. Uh, well, if we had, had a second hoist in there, we'll just we we'll use, use the far one to run this run the second hoist. Oh, okay, right. So they're both independent of each other. Uh, yes, but then if we're running uh, two hoists and, and synchronised, we just we, we we have a, a synchronising option on the on the screen, and then yep. one lever will do both. We'll run oh, both hoists. Right, and I see you when you you're doing this, everything's all lovely and slow. That's the idea. I think, uh, I and think so you can uh, you can feather this to how fast you want it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah I think it's probably nothing worse than the guy out there having to chase chains around the swing yeah, around his head. Right. It's not yes. it's not a good thing. So yeah, no, keep things nice and nice and steady, nice and smooth. Um, no jerky functions, and it makes it easy, makes their job a lot easier. Sure. And I, and I see you've got a little light here. That just uh, do you work at night by by chance? Yeah, yeah, we, we um, do a bit of night work. Um, 
Well, we've got our own bit of lighting on board here right around the cabin. Yep. Obviously, we need the illumination in the cab as well. So, yeah, let's just keep it on. We can check out our... our um, and uh, do you have a headphone mic system? Or do you have to actually sort of pick something up and go 10 4? Yeah, no, I just have the radio down to your right there on the oh, okay. at the moment. Yep. So we just use that and we just clip it to ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that's pretty simple, folks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and everything that you need to know is sitting in front of you. I see you had this little pen. Was that a little, if you were touching stuff with the pen? Is that's that... right, yeah. So they are, they are touch screens, but uh, oh, okay. you, instead of using your, your dirty fingers to oh, go yeah, on the screen, you, you can go just down use the end, yeah. 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 So it turns things on and off and uh, keeps your screens in, in there good order because they're probably about. You know, Maybe twenty thousand dollars for a screen, so we so try to keep them telling. Forty thousand dollars sitting in front of me here, and we haven't even got a crane yet. Rough number. <laughs> that's ballpark figure. Yeah. yeah. And let alone, let alone those tyres on those. You know, well, eight, sixteen, sixteen tyres. God knows what they cost. Right, yeah. So you're looking at a few dollars to actually own one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> yes. Good on yeah. you. Uh, if you're looking looking to buy a new one, you would get much change out of ten million dollars. Good God! Now I see there's a little winch just off to the side there, just by itself. It's got small rope on it. What is, what does that do? So when when we're assembling and it's mainly assembling machine, we need to run out our our hoist rope. Um, our hoist rope is 28 millimeters, so it's it's quite heavy cable. So we we use that smaller cable to run that out. Go out to the tip of the boom, run it back to the hoist switch down in the body here, and we use that to pull our main hoist switch out instead of the big oh, okay. uh, muscling it out. Sure. So it's a bit of a, yeah, an aid for us to uh, when we're assembling. I can just feel this thing shuddering a bit. Maybe it's the engine shuddering, maybe it's Probably the engine. you. Oh, yeah. Would that worry you? No. no. Oh, oh, oh. Being first time in this thing, I think, <laughs> God, I hope, hope it doesn't bloody fall no, over. <laughs> no, man, I'll be just, 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 out, just the operator up here, you know, normally have wooden, we have pe people up here, so that's probably what yeah, yeah. calls that, so, you know, it's uh, not, no. uh, not, not a normal thing. Well, there you go, folks. The, uh, what do you call it? What, we've got a proper name? The crane cab, operator's cab. No, I mean the whole thing. Oh, this is the Terex DMAG. PC 2800-1. Dash one. That's important. Well, there you go. What he just said. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and so there you go, folks. I, I, I've never ever thought I'd be sitting in this little cab. To, you know, it's just. It's, <laughs> I can't really say the know the words to ex express how I'm feeling at the moment sitting here. But uh, very exciting. As I said in the beginning, Mike's here with a couple of dogmen to lift crane components that arrive on trucks. He's already lifted a few off and stored them off to the side. Another load turns up and Mike's guys quickly get the first part rigged so it can be lifted off. Well a second truck has turned up with some more components and I see they've got the cab for the tower crane sitting on the back of this one. So the dogmen are getting their first component all rigged up and it's amazing they just put those straps in exactly the right spot and so that's just going to come off nice and square. So once Mike's happy with the load he'll pick it up and I think he's got the back off the ground a wee bit now but uh, once he's happy he'll pick the whole thing up and uh, start swinging it. There it is. Yep, he's happy so up she comes. So there it is, it's swinging off to the left, a nice aerial view shot there of all the components that have just arrived on the other truck. And this particular component is part of the uh, crane support system that the guy has to walk up all the way up into the air to get into it. So there it is, Mike's just putting it away into the, tucking it into a little corner there and putting it down. So now what we're going to do is Mike's going to talk to me about some of the components that have come in before these two trucks turned up. So let's talk to Mike. 
Tadano have been building cranes since 1956. Tadano is the name in mobile cranes, from two axle to seven axle cranes, as well as track cranes. Tadano, a great choice of crane. So if you're looking for a crane, why not choose Tadano? Tried and true. To find out more, just go to allcrane.co.nz. Pacheco Mini Crane with outriggers designed to get into small areas and confined places like stairs, passageways, things like that. Because they don't have a huge setup time, this saves money and time. Jekko, the crane that does all those little jobs in tight places. For more information, check out www.allcrane.co.nz. So what we're looking at here is the is a pretty important piece of a, of a tower crane. I mean, it's got the, the guy's initials, so I think that lights up at night. Yep, there you can yep. see it. So this is called the machine deck, so it basically supports quite a few of the major components, so it's just, uh, the counterweights, and then we've got the winches here that take your, run your boom up and down, we've got a hoist winch that actually lifts your load up and down, so it all sits on this oh. frame here. Oh, so it's pretty important. Yeah. I was just looking at what we've got here, if I, if I take these two pins out, everything on this thing seems to be locked together with, with just pins. Yep, that's right. So um, pinning is probably a better way uh, for ease of assembly and disassembly, um, as opposed to bolting something or, or even welding. Oh, and nuts and bolts. And, yep, you know, yep. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the other pinning's are quite an quite easy sort of type of fit. So. A bit more, but for, yeah, quicker around. So they must be bulletproof pins. <laughs> yeah, they'll be pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, the steel, good I mean. Quality yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we just look at these, we take a take a pin out. It, 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 these uh, cotter pins don't have to open much to stop it from, no. from getting out. No, that's right, that's right. And so what does this do? So, yeah, so the, this, this, the, this will this box on the, the side, side. Right, we've got yeah. one in behind, over there, that yep. will go on the other side, right. just to give you access around for when you, even um, when you, let's say assembling the machine, we'll bring the winch packs over, it gives the guys an area to walk around to, to actually assemble sure. the winches and the, and the A-frame over the, over the side there. So um, he's, he's relatively safe up there, he's, he's got the little thing he puts on, you know, little safety yeah, he, he clip. Can. Yeah, well, these are actually proper, proper rails at the, at the correct height, so um, you can actually wander around there, but it's all, well, it's all blanked off and no uh, chance of falling unless he wants to jump no, over the side. Sure. And we've got a, a looks like a, a main, very big pin in here. Yeah. So this, the, if you, that's obviously this is a, a tower crane. So the actual tower from the ground will come up through here. Yep. And the and the cab and and the, and the slew ring will be in this area here, and that that will pin onto it. So that there is carrying a lot of. That's, right. That's what's so, so big. So as a cane train driver, you'd lift this up from the ground and take it all the way up. Then and there's riggers standing on the. That's right. Standing on what's already there, and yep. they guide this in lock it in place and you push those pins and jobs down. That's it, yep, yep, keep the plates going, yep. bolt it up and then that's, that's the tool she comes down. What's this for? So uh, when, uh, for what, even in dismantling and, and rigging, that pin will actually come out and just sit in there. You oh, imagine, I see. Because we've got quite a drop down there, so <laughs> yeah. it just hold, keeps that pin there, saves someone having to get it big out here with it and trying to get it in by hand. It just, okay. it's, it's like a, just holds it there. So with this pin's easy enough to come out, I mean, if I just take one of these? Yeah, sure. So that's, that's what's holding it all together. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> just about need a crane <laughs> to lift that up. Well, that's heavy. But that's that's pretty much yeah. what holds it all together. Good. Let's go find the, the hole up there. Find the whole line of it. Push it in a bit further, eh? Oh, there it is. Yep, all made to come apart pretty easy and go back together pretty easy. Wow. 